Hi guys, you're with Leading Edge Industrial Technologies and you are behind the scenes with electronics. So I'm Lamira. Before you guys came up here, we were actually prepping and getting wires ready for our harness. Well, since then we've completely finished that process. We even started putting some harnesses together. So a while back in one of our first edge updates, we showed you guys just a brief overview of us kind of like prototyping a harness board here. This was just really something we just kind of put together. As you can see, it's not efficient at all, but it gave us a great idea of how we wanted to lay things out, what we wanted, what we didn't want. So let's set. If you come over here, we've actually built a harness station here where we have our spools of wire, we kind of do some prepping here, and then we have a rack where we kind of hang our wires there. Well, on this sheet, this is one of our first sheets of our update from the board you just saw. With that, we just kind of all brainstormed and put harness together until we can see like what made this system more efficient and self-explanatory for someone to put together who never had put a harness together before. So one thing we did here, we started adding like pictures of our connectors, where we wanted zip ties, a little few more labels, where someone should actually start if they're actually putting a harness in, and so forth. We also have, all the wires are kind of like labeled here, you'll see. You have numbers here that correlates with numbers that are actually on the harness. So you'll know like where to grab your wires from. come on this side we've made things a lot more efficient this is one of our updated boards here where we have tables indicating when you just to give you confirmation that did I grab the right um, harness or bundle of wire here because as you can see as I'm putting the harness together you'll start to notice that some of our bundles may have like multiple colors inside of them or this piece of connector so this table correlates with this connector how which color wire should be in here and so on and so forth same thing with this here it shows the connector is going to go in there about how many you need as you can see we did zip ties and then part numbers so then we know like i said our part number lets us correlate with what's labeled on our rack here so I'm going to go ahead, put together a harness for you guys, and just give you guys a brief overview of how we start this, alright? Let's get started. Hi, so now this is our completed harness, as you can see, nicely laid out on here. I went up taking this harness off and getting started on electronics board so just go a quick thing is you notice that some of the zip most of the zip ties are black but some of them have different colors on them like red white and blue well that's to indicate the axis for when hooking it up to the actual machine the red zip tie indicates that it's the x-axis the white or clear zip tie indicates that it's the Y axis and then our blue zip tie here indicate that it's the Z axis. So if someone wants to take the motor or the limit switches apart, they will know exactly which one controls each axis. Okay, that's just a quick note. We're going to go over here and get started. So what I've done is the next step I will be once you take the harness off you put on the last connector which is this here using a little quick tool so for the sake of time we're just going to grab a harness that's already complete and we're going to connect it to everything that's here in our electronics box so it includes our power supplies control board drivers and all all right Now everything is connected to the electronics that are inside of the box. So this is our layout here. The last step we would do is for like here to add a little slack, we'll end up adding a couple of panel mounts once it's inside, hooked to the back of the machine. So we're gonna bolt this to the back of the machine, route the wires, connect them where they need to go. And inside of the machine, such as like to the motors or to the lights, and all the various accessories 
then we have a completed box so thank you guys once again with the electronics department and i hope you have a great day bye bye